Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics. So the problem is determine the neutral and active stress at the depth of 16 meter below the ground level for the following condition. Water table is 3 meter below the ground, server, ground surface. Then G equal to specific gravity 2.68. Then Y ratio E equal to 0 0.72. Average water content above the water table is 8%. Okay. So now we have to draw the soil strata. So this is ground level. So the soil has 16 meter depth. Soil layer has 16 meter depth. So from that below the water below the ground level. So 3 meter there is a water. So 3 meter below the ground surface there is a water table. Okay. So now this is water level. So now we can find out the effective stress and neutral stress at 16 meter depth. Okay, so this is a layer A A. Okay, the soil has a property of G equal to specific gravity is 2.68. Then Y ratio E equal to 0 0.72. Then above the water table there is a water content W equal to 8 percentage. Okay, so these are all the given values. So first we have to find out the gamma value over here and gamma saturation value over here. Okay, so after that we can find out the effective stress as well as neutral stress. So now the solution. So first thing is gamma saturation value. So gamma saturation equal to the formula is G plus E into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. So G is 2.68 plus E value is 0 0.72 into gamma W value we know 9.81. Okay, so divided by 1 plus 0 0.72. Okay, solving this we got the value of gamma saturation is 19.39 kilo Newton per meter cube. Okay, so this is the unit weight below the water table. Next thing is we have to find out the unit weight for above the water table. So from that we have to find out the S value. So now that we know the formula E into S equal to W into G. So now we can substitute all the values over here. So the S equal to W value is 0 0.08 that is given into G value is 2.68 and E value is 0 0.7. Okay. So now the gamma value is the formula G plus E into S into gamma W divided by 1 plus E. Okay, now we can substitute all the values over here. G is 2.68 plus E value is 0 0.72. Then S value is we found out over here. So 0 0.08 into 2.68 divided by 0 0.7. Okay, into the gamma W value is 9.81 divided whole divided by 1 plus E that is 1 plus 0 0.7. Okay, solving this we got the value gamma equal to that is uh, above the water table the unit weight is 16.51 kilo Newton per meter cube. Okay, so now we can find out uh, the total stress. So now the total stress is gamma sorry sigma equal to so we can take this one is H1 here H2, so H1 is 3 meter, then H2 is 13 meter. Okay, so now we can take this is gamma 1, this is gamma 2. So now the total stress at the depth of 16 meter, so gamma equal to gamma 1 into H1 plus gamma 2 into H2. Okay, so now gamma 1 value is 16.51, uh, 16.51 into the layer, depth of layer is 3 meter. Okay, the H1 is 3 meter. Again plus, so the gamma 2 value is, we found out 19.39 into the gamma 2, sorry, H2 value is 13. Okay, so from that solving this, we got the value of total stress. So, 301.6 kilo Newton per meter square. Okay, so next thing is neutral pressure. So neutral pressure, so the only in the 13 meter depth, there is a water content. Okay, so now we can take 
gamma w into h2 only we can take h2 so now there is a, if there is a capillary pressure we can take both uh, uh, above the water table and below the water table but above the water table we can put minus okay so now the gamma w value is 9.81 into h2 value is 13 okay solving this we got the value of 127.5 kilo newton per meter square okay so now effective stress sigma dash equal to we know the total stress minus pore water pressure so the total stress is 301.6 kilo newton per meter square minus the pore water pressure is 127.5 kilo newton per meter square okay so solving this we got the value of 174.1 kilo newton per meter square okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you